How's it going, everybody? This is Dr. Hefe playing FTL Faster Than Light. And today we're going to be playing as the Mantis Cruiser again, but we're going with the Type B ship, the Basilisk. And the Basilisk, I don't know. In mythology, it's not a very imposing creature. I believe the Basilisk's gaze is the more appropriate name since it was supposed to cause death and you can't put uh, apostrophes in so I guess we're not gonna do that so let's rename these mantis dudes we got striker and Tom Banks what <laughs> and Clar sorry Tom Banks uh, not gonna do any castaway over here so as you can see this ship differs from the original Gila monster, the type A ship, in that it has no weapons on board, and you have two drones to start with. So, interesting, interesting ship. I learned from my mistakes and actually played through with this ship uh, two times, so, and they actually did pretty okay. Got further than Sector 1 at least, so at least you won't have to suffer through that. And the first thing that you want to do with this ship is upgrade the engines. Because since you have no weapons, the strategy for this ship is really unique. And I'll show it off as we go along. But when you first start off, upgrade your engine. Because you're going to want to be able to run from fights that you cannot win. Alright. So this is a rebel ship. I don't know whether I can defeat it because they have a healing bay and I have no way to take that down. But let's try it out. Let's see what happens. I may have to run, but oh well. Okay, maybe we'll go over here. Either way, we can at least kind of level up some of their attack abilities. Yeah, they're gonna run. This guy's dead. This may just be a very long opening battle. While well, they go back and heal, and I go back and heal, and all sorts of battling goes on. I'm gonna try and chase that fool down. I wonder if I can get him if he's in here, in the med bay. Yes, I did, I got him. I think if I do two on one, we should be able to have enough to kill him, even if he's healing in the med bay. Yes! That worked awesomely well. Very awesomely well. So as you can see in this ship, you have a teleporter that has four spaces in it, which allows you to send, well, four people over at one time, and also take four people back, which lends itself to a new strategy. So. As you can see, you're not going to have people on your ship. You're going to be sending everyone over. Very similar to the Basilisk, but... Alright, sorry. Very similar to the Gila Monster. But a little bit different. So I'm going to upgrade my engine again. Just in case we have to run. And plus, it only costs 25 scrap to get those first two upgrades, so... Pretty simple thing to get. Well, don't have any missiles to sell you. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so this one should be a lot easier since they don't have any healing bay. Okay, they're trying to run. And they have a missile launcher, so I'm going to deploy my defense drone instead of my boarding drone. And let's jump into... Let's go into here. Similar to the Gila monster. Don't want to be overpowered by a crew. Don't know how many enemy crew members are on this ship, so I'm going to go where the odds are good. 2v2. Alright. Yep. So they did have a third crew member, so that was a good choice. I think... Yeah, this guy will still die. You cannot defeat the Mantis. Alright, so that missile exploded. Come back, get some healing again. 
And I'll be cutting these healing sequences in a little bit, but just wanted to show it off. So you have your drone area, engine, weapons, shields. And the main thing that I do is just use these two Mantis men, and hopefully we're going to get some more either human or NG crew members to kind of pilot the ship and work the other functions while the Mantis are out fighting. Still very similar to the Gila monster. Alright, we'll lead you guys to your destination. Always happy to help. And the next upgrade I want to get is going to be some more power, so we can keep these engines running. Oh, that's a very close destination. Oh wow, thanks for doing absolutely nothing for me. You guys are great. Patch up my hole. They should at least give me, you know, some sort of scrap or something since my hole is completely fixed. It has not even been scratched. The paint is so new, it's so blue and nice. It's a sexy looking ship. Okay, I'm gonna fly up and around through the nebula. Well, cannot pay your toll. We have no scrap for you, buddy. Uh, yeah, I know, we're gonna regret this decision. Okay, let's put this defense drone up. Fight some... Oh, I thought this would be rock dudes. I forget that pirates have very random crews on there. So Mantis v. Mantis and Mantis v. Human. Oh! Wow. That is extremely close. <laughs> Two health left. Alright, a f prisoner who joins our crew. Awesome. So yeah, I'm going to keep that guy on board now to pilot the ship. So that we're actually going to be able to make use of these engines to evade. And the reason why you may need to run a lot, so having upgrading your engines is a good idea, is because you cannot board enemy automated scouts, because otherwise you will asphyxiate because there's no oxygen on board. And also you cannot board the Zoltan cruisers, because they have the green Zoltan shield. A rebel scout, let's outrun that. Damn it. Okay, so we definitely want to up the engine power. I'm going to send my Mantis men to kind of work these to make sure they charge faster. So I want my shields up and my engines up. Normally I'd put up a defense drone as well. And need to charge this faster. But since they don't have their missiles online, just keep it this way. Oh no. I hate you defense drones. Or attack drones. Aw, oh, dang it. Come on. Need those engines powered up. Going into this nebula was not a good idea. Luckily, the shield is just coming online at almost the perfect time. Here we go. Alright, let's get out of there. That was a harrowing fight. So as you can see, you know, you need those engines to get away from there. So let's search for some survivors. What? Someone's knocked away. Oh no, not one of my mantis. Man, we're still in an electrical storm. That may have very bad consequences for us. And another automated scout. Oh, man. Well, at least we can fully power everything back up. Let's put a defense drone up so we don't get hit by these missiles. Because one of these missiles can completely derail our ship if they hit our engines or piloting area. But losing that Mantis fighter, that's going to... It's going to kind of screw up our attack plan. But I still believe we can still recover from that. Still got a lot of scrap and supplies, even though we've lost one of our crew members. So yeah, I can't do anything to the ship. I have no weapons. Sending a boarding drone on there will take out probably one of their systems. But other than that... Oh, they got away? I got away first. 
I clicked jump. Alright. Yes, use our teleporter to lock onto their life signs. And we got another crew member. Alright, good. It's no mantis, but you can at least go into the teleporter and fight. What can I do here? I can jump back and forth. Alright. Always explore those sectors as much as you can. Ah. Of course, you get screwed into an asteroid field. Oh, man. Um, how do I want to do this? Definitely want a defense drone. Maybe I'll try to send all my men on board and try and take out their shield systems. Or maybe their weapon systems. Not quite sure how I want to play this one. Considering that they do have a health bay in there. Oh, but they're NGs. That ought to make things a lot easier for us. Yeah, they're still getting into damaging our systems. Unfortunately. There we go. Okay, we've taken down their weapons. We'll beat up on these NGs again. If these were Mantis or Rock Dudes, could have been screwed, but NGs makes it easy. Alright, let's go in here and actually try and kill that NG. There we go, we killed him. Now let's try and take out their... Actually, let's choke them to death. It's always an interesting way to kill the enemy. Now we'll destroy their shields. So that way they're screwed over even more. Oh no, there's a fire in here. Let's get out of here. Hopefully they'll die from this. It's like a very cruel death. Choking to death, burning, rocks smashing into their ship. Ah, genius. Perhaps we should have somebody up here to pilot the ship. Oh, what? Trying to escape? How are you going to escape? Everything's on fire. You're screwed. <laughs> I loved doing that with the Gila monster, and it's fun to do it again with the Basilisk. Alright, oh no, we need to actually get out of this area. Lock, you get in there. You get over there. You get over there. Alright, we're ready to jump. Let's go to the exit. A very up and down first sector. But overall a plus. Let's go to the civilian sector. Civilians are probably easier to kill than rock people. Although I did dominate all those rock dudes with the Gila Monster Mantis ship. So, perhaps it would not have been a bad choice to go there. Let's continue to jump around in this sector. We've been boarded. Alright, whatever. Just give me a chance to work on my fighting skills, which is what I need. Normally I dislike it when boarders come on the ship. I mean, they usually get one free destruction of one of your subsystems, but... Hey, if you're trying to create a fighting group... Nothing like free fighting experience. Like this guy's already got level 1. These guys are kind of doing a little bit better. There we go. An easy slaughter, especially when they decide to fight you in your med bay. It's like you think that the enemy AI would know. I mean, it's pretty easy for me to know not to go into the enemy med bay. But I guess they have to make it a little bit easy for you. It isn't as if you aren't doing 25 different battles on your way to the end. So let's see the... I, there's some drones. Don't really want drones. The thing I'm looking for in stores is going to be missile weapons. Uh, the bombs would also be the best. Because they can go through... They can get past the defense drones. Whereas normal missiles are going to get shot down by the defense drones. The bombs just teleport right on board the enemy ship. It's awesome. 
Let's see, accept a bribe? No, we'll attack these guys. They don't have a med bay. So it'll be easy to fight them. Alright, they're gonna come on board our ship first, I do believe. They're fighting us in the med bay. Foolishness. And they only have two weapons on here. It's gonna be an easy fight. In fact, I don't even need to pilot. Come over here and fight these men. Oh, he just barely got out of there. Let's go to their weapons bay. I think we should have an advantage of numbers. Yeah, 3v2. An easy advantage, especially against some NGs. There should be... There we go. It was a rebel scout. Hmm, we could delay their pursuing fleet. Or destroy them. Let's destroy them. We are mantis men. We shall crush the enemy wherever they are. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that one before. That's what I love about this game. Always new stuff happening. A rebel fighter, huh? Alright. Let's see. What do I want to upgrade next? Could upgrade shields. That's always nice. Let's upgrade sensors, actually. That'll give us a good idea of what's going on on the enemy ship before we jump in there. Let's aid the Federation ship. Okay. 3v3. I like them mods. Let's go to the weapons bay. Because it always seems that all of them like to come help out the weapons people or not. Apparently they wanted to let that guy die first for some odd reason. I feel sad for that guy. He was just sacrificed. He's trying to defend the weapons bay all by himself against three intruders. That's not going to work. Alright. Gave us a quest marker. Simple enough. Have our people get healed. Perhaps the next thing I'm going to want to get is a improved med bay. It's always nice to have. Alright, let's keep going. We'll go to the quest marker, just in case we get a lot of scrap and other items. Sweet defense drone mark two. That is awesome. I'm gonna to want to upgrade my drone system after we visit this store. Mm, another fighter. That's actually very useful. Let's fix it up. Don't need fuel or anything else right now. So yeah, let's buy another fighter for our ship. And let's upgrade our drone systems. That way we can use the defense drone mark too. And that drone is so much more awesome than the Defense Drone Mark I. Being able to shoot almost like twice as quick. And it can shoot down enemy lasers as well as missiles. It's awesome. So we're not going to provoke this ship because it'll wreck us in a battle. Because we have no weapons. So, yeah. But let's continue to explore this area. All right, sorry, buddy. These pirates keep trying to mess with me. Don't know why. So I'm actually gonna leave Block, Bloch, Bloch, on board the ship just so he can upgrade his piloting skills. So that's gonna come in handy later on. I mean, multiple missiles are coming at us and lasers and all sorts of stuff. Having a good pilot is always nice. All right. These battles are going quite well. So yeah, as I said, it plays very similar to the Gila monster, but you have to take into account the fact that you have no weapons, so you must run sometimes from enemies. A lot of times. And there's a lot of fights you must avoid, but... Oh well, so let's see, slavers. What? I'm not going to surrender to slavers. 
Oh, I see you guys coming on board here. Too bad you got a puny two-man teleporter. As opposed to us. Let's actually send these guys to work on these items. Put up our defense. Drone. Do not have enough power. Woo. That was very close. I did not realize what was going on there. Lauren, you're getting your ass kicked. Oh, but you should be able to kill pit people look. Oh no. They blew up my defense drone with a missile. So yeah, this is where you would want to have that upgraded med bay. So then I could heal these guys up and throw them into battle right away. Let's actually put this down while they heal. And actually, where, where's Block? Block, you need to get up on here. Alright, people are ready to fight. Let's end this battle. So this time, attacking the weapons drew everyone. I think it's if you attack a room and there's nobody there to defend it, it'll draw everybody on the ship to go defend. Or at least everybody who can fit in this area. So if there's five crew, obviously not everyone could jump in there. All right, let's move these men into the med bay and give it some power. Let's see. The next upgrade I will want Yeah, let's, uh, let's buy that med bay upgrade and give it some more power as well. Hmm. Ah, I really wish I knew. I'm going to risk it. I really wish I knew where the next red sector would be, whether I have one or two jumps left. Oh, another defense drone mark too. Pretty good risk, and it paid off. Whew. I guess I must be getting good at eyeballing that. Six fuel for two drone parts. Nah, not that good of a deal. So we can go to the Mantis homeworlds. And in fact, my ship is already upgraded enough to get the Mantis upgrade. If we do find the Mantis Pirate King, Klagartha, Yeah, I think that's his name. Being overrun by giant alien spiders. Let's use our boarding drone. Yep. Debris and dead body fly out. Oh, only a meager payment. Oh well. I don't want to risk losing any one of my people to... Ugly, giant, alien spiders. That doesn't sound good at all. Ooh, a double breach missile? Does more damage to systems. That's kind of cool. That's kind of what I want. I guess I'm going to sell this second defense drone because I'm going to need that breach missile later on if I do not find any missile weapons just floating in space, which happens sometimes. And I just realized that we're in Sector 3. So I'm going to cut it here. And yeah, that was going really quick, so didn't even realize it. going to cut it here, and we're going to continue in Sector 3 in uh, a little bit so join me next time till then take care of yourself